Charm friends. My name is Megan and I play the viola um, and I'm going to play for you just a few short pieces that kind of show off this instrument and make it sound really good. Um, they're all pieces that are designed to be played just um, viola alone, no other instruments, which makes it very quarantine friendly. And um, I'm going to show you a pieces from a range of different time periods. One piece that's very old, um, a couple that are medium old, and one that is pretty recent. So, first thing I'm going to play for you, actually, even though it makes the viola sound really good, like I said before, was originally written for cello. Um, Bach, who's a composer you might have heard of, wrote six cello suites, so pieces for solo cello, and violists play them as well, and it sounds really good on viola also. So I'm going to play the prelude from the second Bach cello suite for you. second cello suite. Um, that was the one that I said was really old. That one was written in the early 1700s, so long time ago. Um, the next piece 
I'm going to play is the one that I said was kind of old. So this one was written in the early 20th century, um, I think 1929 around then. And this is a piece written by a Czech composer named Ladislav Vizpalek, which you probably haven't heard of. That's okay. Um, he was a violist also, so this is written really well for the viola. Um, so I'm going to play for you the first movement and the third movement, and I'll talk a little bit about um, about them in between. Um, so this is going to be the first movement, and yeah, this is just a really it's a it's a really fun piece, um, very uh, active, but also kind of goes back and forth between some different characters, so you can kind of listen for that.
movement of this piece, I'm not going to play all, there are four movements total, I'm not going to play all of them. I'm going to skip to the third movement, because I think that there's a lot of cool stuff um, to talk about in this movement. One thing is that there are a lot of places in this, um, in this piece that the composer will specify um, what string you should be playing certain notes on. So basically what that means is there are notes that can be played in multiple places on the instrument. You could play this note here, or here, or, or there, right? So you can, you can find the same pitch on, on many strings. And there's just a little bit of a difference in the sound um, when a composer does that. For instance, let me just find a little spot in here that does that kind of a thing. So, well, how about this one? This is a really dramatic one. So, there is, there's a spot in here that tells you to be really, really high up on a certain string. If I were to just play it normally without um, doing what the composer said, it, this part would sound like... Right? Sounds good. Sounds normal. Um, but if I do how the composer asks, it sounds like this. to do that. Another thing that happens a lot in this, um, in this piece is um, sliding, using one finger to slide, kind of like that type of thing. That shows up a lot of places. You can kind of listen for that too. And um, I think I'll just play it because you want to hear music, not me talking.
All right, so I have one piece left for you, and this is the one that I said at the beginning was not so old. So this piece was only written, I think, about 13 years ago. Um, the, the composer of this piece is still living. Um, he's a violist also, and this is from a set of pieces called Viola Spaces. And they're all, um, they're all written for solo viola, and they all explore a certain technique that you can do on the viola. So this one explores the sound that you get when you play your bow really close to this thing right here, the bridge. You get this weird kind of metallic, tinny sort of sound, whereas normally that's the sound that you would get, but instead, right, it's kind of, it's almost creepy or spooky. And in, in this piece that I'm about to play, I'm playing like that the whole time, right next to the bridge. Um, so this is kind of a cool, exciting newer piece. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope you like everything that I played for you. Thank you. 